Is this ESC the DYS Aria killer? Well, stay tuned and let's check it out. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we have a new ESC on our hands and it's from Flycolor. Now Flycolor hasn't disappointed me in the past, they've done above average usually, but this one actually stands out quite a bit. We're going to be reviewing it, well noise testing it, which is bench testing it at the current moment of time. And after this video, we're going to go ahead and build it on a demanding setup, which has been pissing me off for a while to actually see how it performs. Now, uh, let's go over some of the specs here. So it is a BL Heli 32 ESC. It's running an ARM Cortex MCU, which is a 32-bit ES uh, microcontroller unit CPU, if you want to say. Um, so that is DShot 1200 ready, if you didn't know. It takes a 3 to 6S LiPo, and it is a 50 amp ESC rated for 60 amp current. So that's very good and done. So looking at some of its specs here, actually, they're saying they're using top class imported or imported MOSFETs uh, with low internal resistance and high current endurance. Um, I did crack one open apart and I uh, actually checked them and they were running some pretty nice fat MOSFETs. So the chances of you burning this is very unlikely. Even if your motor were to stall for a tiny bit, uh, you, you, these MOSFETs seem like it, they would handle on paper. So that's very good. Um, overall, it seems absolutely beautiful on paper. And now let's go ahead and check some of its dimensions and its weight before we go ahead and stake it on the bench. So another thing to note before we take this dimensions, this is actually smaller than most 50 amp ESCs, which is actually very good. Um, this can be set up on, you know, lighter quads with demanding motors and save weight here. So its width is roughly 15 millimeters. And if we go for length here, so it's 33 millimeters in length and the overall, let's just say um, height from the tallest points 11 millimeter, so it's 11 millimeter high. So that's very good. It's pretty tiny compared to other 50 amp ESCs, and uh, I'm very impressed. Even 42 amp ESCs, like for example, here we have one here. Let's go ahead and take a look at this one. So this is the uh, Racer Star 42 amp ESCs. This the the 42 amp ESCs and the 52 amp Racer Star ESCs tested absolutely beautiful. I have yet to fly them though. I do have it on my ESC testing quad, but I burnt the motor uh, when all these three phases touched the carbon. So as you can see here, it's actually smaller than most and it's probably a little bit difficult to see, but yeah, you can see kind of that difference. And it's 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 very good actually. It's um just about the same length as um basically a normal ESC, but except it's a tiny bit longer and does have a heat sink, which is very, very good. So that's a huge plus and that's a big plus there. So let's get its weight and let's take stick it on the bench. Make sure nothing's touching. Zero it out. And 10 grams, that's not bad at all. It's actually very good. So 10 grams is its weight, so it's very good. Now, obviously, when you cut the wires, it's gonna it's gonna be even less. So let's go ahead and stick it on the bench. Alright guys, so how did this one do? Well, this one actually did very, very, very good. It's holding its phases absolutely beautiful, and I've only tested it on default 16 kilohertz. Now, if we increase this kilohertz to around 24 to 48 kilohertz, this thing would be absolutely insane. So looking at it, it's actually doing better than the DYS Aria. And um, for, you know, actually what I'm showing you right now was the worst test I've gotten with it, um, which is absolutely insane. So for example, the voltage drop here is 12.4. Now you might say this is bad, but actually it's very good due to the MOSFETs that it's using with low internal resistance, thus sucking that battery dry uh, with current. So it's very good. And we know this is good because these are not due from voltage spikes. These are due from actual phases and power delivery. So it's a very good, 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 big plus here. Uh, the voltage spike is 21 volts, which is absolutely beautiful. It's not really much, you know, it's your safe zone is it's way, way below the safe zone. I would consider anything above 24 volts is way pushing it kind of actually 26 is pushing it too much to under 24 volts. You're absolutely beautiful. You're in the safe zone there. 
Now, overall, I mean, the filtration, filter filtration in this ESC is absolutely phenomenal it's holding its phase is absolutely beautiful its size is good its current is good the MOSFETs is using is absolutely beautiful so what we possibly have we have a winner on our hand however there's a couple things to take note of here what should we say the cons here now for me this doesn't matter but for some it might this does not have an LED that's one thing Another thing, it does not have a current sensor, which could also be a downside to many people. For me, I really don't care. As long as the AC works beautiful, no noise, and I can just pound it and just use it and just fly it, stick a 6S, be totally fine. I'm happy. I, I could care less because usually most of our all-in-one flight controllers have the, uh, the current sensing and all that kind of stuff on board. So for me, it doesn't really bug me at all. If this proves to perform better than DYS Aria, this is going to be my new favorite ESC, hands down. And um, yeah, so overall, this one was an absolute beauty. Um, if you want a cheaper version, which did almost just as good, which is this guy right here. However, this is D-Shot 600. This one is the BL Heli 32 D-Shot 1200. And you can possibly use some sort of telemetry, get the RPM and temperature through one of these pads. But I'll try to contact Flycolor and see what we can figure out here. Overall, I'm impressed. And I. it seems like it's an absolute winner, which is why I'm going to be building it right after this video on a demanding setup which I've had and I loved and it was just pissing me off with noise and just going the flips of death on 5S which is this guy here which was using the Typhoon 35M4 and 1 ESC um, I really want to just completely replace the internals I hate this omnibus and I hate this Typhoon it's pissing me off on this setup so right now we're going to be rebuilding this or possibly making another budget build I don't know what's the next video but I really want to rebuild this guy because I love flying him and well, that's it guys. So I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll leave a link down and I'll leave a link in the description down below to everything here. And if you guys have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to let me know and I will see you next time. See you guys. Take care.